What's up guys, it's Renizzle here with another video for you guys. So I'm currently outside, I've just been suffering from the flu for like two weeks straight. Um, so I've decided on a new video idea. When you have neighbours and you're just like filming the video and you're just trying not to be awkward, yeah me. Cause me too. Um. <laughs> Women who are straight up girls. Like, I mean, everyone has different women they look up to or think they're inspirational. Um, these are my seven women that I think are very inspirational. Um, the sun is really bright. Um, I should be wearing glasses, but it doesn't matter. I thought I would get in before the sun goes and there's really noises in the background and I apologize. It's great when you want to film and you can't because there's background noises. Yep, love my life. Um, okay, so let me get my trusty Samsung 4 um, out. Really? For real? Okay, so guys, I have seven women who I think are amazing and goals and motivational and inspirational um, all of the above so um, these are my top seven women who are straight goals as fuck yeah number the first person who was on my list of motivational and goals as fuck women are Ariana Grande I've met her like two years ago she is someone I definitely see a lot in and she inspires me to be you know a, you know she gives you self-confidence you know and like she brings up your self-esteem and like motivates you um, and she definitely knows how one another and women in general should be respected in a way that they should you know and there's a way and there's a wrong and there's a right way uh, I do believe everything she's, I do respect everything she has to say, like there's a lot of things that's been happening with her, um, but recently she had, um, she, there was a terrorist attack in um, England and I, you know, that's something hard to have to witness and I do feel for her, I do feel for the fans that we've lost. Um, but, you know, we just have to keep spreading love, peace and happiness. Um, these things we can't control. But at the end of the day, Ariana is someone who I love dearly, adore, and she's amazing, stunning, be beautiful. She's honestly goals. Like, when I met her, she was amazing. Like, truly, like, the most amazing person you could meet. She honestly like made me cry because I was so overwhelmed by the fact that she like she invited me. I don't know if you saw my video that I posted on my other channel, went the one that I had previously to this one. Um, I made a video on how I met Ariana. So um, now that I've met her, it's it's still like hits me the fact that I've met her and you know been in her presence and somewhat seen her perform um I'm actually I didn't get tickets to her concert unfortunately um whether she's gonna you know continue her tour or not but um I hope that she can recover from this devastating thing um you know it's something you know someone couldn't imagine anyone going through um, but anyway, enough about Ariana. I love you, Ariana. If you see this, I love you so much. I'm so proud of you. I'm so, like, you're going to stay strong and, yeah. Um, okay. So, the next person is number two. Number two is Taylor Swift. So, I've looked after Taylor Swift for, like, eight years. Um, that's a long time. Um, she's someone that's taught me not to... There's, there's a quote she always says at the end of a song called Clean during a concert and she says 
you are not the opinion of someone who doesn't know you. And I love that. Um, it's something that I really love about her. I love the fact, the fact that she doesn't care what people think about her. She taught me to not let the haters get the best of me. Um, if I ever got to meet her one day, I would be truly thankful. And I love her so, so, so much. Um, she's definitely someone who is just completely stunning. Like, oh my god, her, oh, her eyes for crying out loud. Like, I want them so bad. Like, give me your eyes. But everyone wants my eyes because they're green. Um, have them, take them. No, I'm kidding. But seriously, you know what I'm saying? Anyway. You get my gist of the of Taylor. Um, I, I believe she's amazing. Um, people have different opinions on her, but that ain't gonna change mine. So, see ya, got a Zane. Demi Lovato, number three. Demi has taught me to have a lot of self confidence in myself and to never feel like you're alone in any situation. She's been through so much in her career and her life. I really, really love her, and this is why I got Stay Strong on my wrists, um, because she honestly motivates me to be a better person. I was so close to meeting her, so close, in 2015, but I missed out. I actually have a video speaking about her and what she has done for me. Um, I, I believe it has like over 200 views at the moment. Um, it would be awesome if she saw that video. Um, it would be really cool to actually meet her. Like I'm unfortunate to not be able to buy meet and greet tickets for her. If I got the opportunity to meet her, it would be like a, a dream come true. She's someone who inspires. <coughs> oh, yeah. Breathe. She's someone who inspires me day to day through her life struggles to be more confident in myself and just to you know be. Don't be afraid to be who you are and just be you, you know? Um, Jasmine Viegas, um, I've been a fan of her since 2009. You may remember her from the baby music video, just the baby's music video. Um, I've been a fan of her for a really long time. She recently had a daughter and I'm so happy for her. I couldn't be more proud of her. She has taught me to not give a fuck what people think about anyone of you. Um, she's definitely taught me if you're ever stuck in a domestic violence relationship, you should get out of that as soon as you can because you don't want to like keep, you may love this person, but you need to do it to, you need to get out of that sort of situation and speak up about it also even after you've gone through it because people have, go through the same thing and domestic violence is something i hate i've never been through it i've been through a lot of violent -y people but um i wouldn't call it domestic violence and i really hope that i don't end up being with someone who is really violent and just is really cruel um towards women and i believe jasmine is someone who made me speak up even about bullying um, and I have gained a lot of you know just motivation from her and I really really love her so much and I'm so proud of her I love her music her music explains like me as like a girl going through relationships and you know what people boys can be and whatnot and um, she she's someone who I really want to meet like really want to meet I would die but like, I wouldn't say die but I I really want to meet her she's someone so Miley Cyrus five is my fifth woman um, so Miley has taught me to spread love peace and happiness that's why I always say it at the end of my videos or at the end of my broadcast or something like that because we need more positive and happiness in our lives like Look how much shit has gone down. We need more positive things and positive outcomes and just more positivity in this world. She's gone through a lot of things herself, but I do really look up to her still. 
Um, she has taught me to spread more love and treat everyone equally because if you treat everyone equally, you'll get the equal respect back. That's how I put it. And I'm glad that she's put out more music. I'm so pumped for her. If she releases an album this year, I'm so pumped. Can't wait to see her again. I'm live. I, last time I saw her was 2014 and she was amazing. Amazing. And I'm just really excited to see her perform again with her new songs. And Malibu is a bop. Like, shooketh. So shooketh. Alright. Um, yeah, so I do believe Miley is a good person. She is. Everyone knows that. She went through a rough page, page in her life. You know, everyone does. Everyone goes through breakups. Everyone goes through heartbreak. But if, you know, goes to show, Tiffany just messaged me. I mean, Tiff just messaged me. Said she landed in LA. Yay, shout out to you, Tiff, while I'm filming this video. Hope you have fun in Adelaide. But yeah. The second last person, number six, almost said seven, um, six. So six um, is Selena Gomez. So Selena, I've been really iffy on. Um, I don't know why, maybe because of jealousy. I'm gonna admit that, maybe I'm jealous of her, but I don't know. I'm not jealous of her anymore. I mean, yeah, I'm not really jealous of her anymore. But Selena taught me to kill the haters with kindness. She's also given me a lot of confidence in myself as a woman. And I I do believe she helps a lot of young young women women to express themselves in a sec not not a sexual way, but in being able to have self-love. You know, we all need self-love, whether you're male or female, it shouldn't matter. But we all need to love ourselves. We shouldn't put ourselves down. We have flaws, but at the end of the day, we have to love ourselves because you can't love anyone. Yeah. <laughs> you can't. Excuse you. Fuck off. <laughs> These birds having a massacre right now. Come on. Can you not? Anyway, you have to love yourself before you can love anyone else. I hate these birds. Um, so, my point is... Why not my point? I love the fact that she gives me confidence and she taught me to kill the haters with kindness because that's all we can do. Don't, like... Whatever they say to you, it shouldn't reflect you as a human. It should reflect them. They're also obviously going through a rough patch in their life where they harass you or bully you or whatever. But it's not on. It shouldn't be on. But at the end of the day, just kill them with kindness. Treat them equally. Love them equally. Just smile and be like...
she's a really good songwriter. Um, she's amazing, and um, she's like absolutely like she's definitely. I feel like she'd be the best like sister that anyone could have. Like she made, she's freaking thirty for crying out loud. Like thirty, whatever her, her age is, thirty-one, whatever. But still, she she looks amazing, and she's just, like amazing. I wish I could be friends with her. I mean, who wouldn't want to be friends with someone who they look up to for 10 plus years, you know? That's all I've got to say about Delta and all my eight women, no, sorry, seven women who I think who are straight up goals. Goals, sugar, oh my God. Um, but yeah. This concludes my video and I hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below who you think who are straight up goals, women who you find inspirational to you, to your life, because I want to know. Um, and comment some other, I don't know, something else. If you get to the end of this video, you get to this part, comment, I like hot dogs and pickles. Okay, yeah, that's it. I like hot dogs and pickles, that's it. That's the end of the video, so, Love, peace, and happiness. And uh, Renewable out.